I've had this new golf club sat on my desk for days and days and days now, and I can't wait to get it out of the box and show you guys. Let's talk good good. You see, Good Good are absolutely nailing it at the moment, not just on YouTube, not just on social media, but in general in the golfing world. So much so, they have now brought out their own range of golf clubs and getting hold of them is like getting hen's teeth. I managed to get one of the Good Good putters. Today we're gonna to test it, see just how good it is, see if it's worth the money because this thing ain't cheap. Guys, I'm also gonna give this away, so make sure you do hit that subscribe button, comment below Good Good and throw a like on this video. We are so close to a quarter of a million subscribers. I'd love you to be a part of it. I'd love you to walk away with this Good Good putter once I've tested it against some of the best brands in the world. And you see, the first thing I want to talk about is the buying process, because I follow all the lads on social media, on their Instagrams, on YouTube. I absolutely love what they're doing for the game of golf. These guys and Bob Does Sports are changing the game. And the thing that you need to do when selling to people is make the process easy, make it enjoyable, and to be honest, make it stress-free. So guys, I've also had an email from Good Good asking me to leave a review of this putter. This is the first time I've seen it, as you can probably imagine. I've been so excited to get my hands on this, to come out and test it, to come out and play with it, to see if it will potentially go in my bag, and then to leave the guys the review, because I'm sure they do want any kind of constructive feedback. I'm not taking the head cover off yet. I'm going to get to the first green. We're going to play a few holes with this today. Guys, the big thing that they've done really well also is the packaging, is the hype, is keeping in touch, letting me know where the delivery is. That's something which some of the bigger brands could massively learn from, because like I said, this isn't cheap, but if the service is there, then why not? Right, let's play some golf. I can't wait to see what it looks like. The suspense is killing me. I went the wrong way. So guys, do me a favor. If you're in the comments for the giveaway, make sure you do invite a friend as well. I'd love for this to be the video that gets us over a quarter of a million subscribers. And also let me know what would you like to see me do with this good, good putter. Do you want to see comparisons? Do you want to see something a bit more fun, like a one club challenge? Can we birdie the opening hole? Go. Chance chance so guys let's talk money because this wasn't cheap it was 379 dollars and i have got the mallet version as you probably saw with the head cover i did actually want the blade version but they were so hard to get hold of i actually saw a link on i think it was steven's instagram he said there's some left-handed ones there go and get them i went on just to see if there was a right-handed one and there was a couple of right-handed mallets left so i managed to get on 35 inches should be my perfect specs around the price of maybe a little bit cheaper than an Odyssey Toulon, than a Scotty Cameron. So I'm hoping this thing does look good. I'm hoping this thing does perform. I'm kind of hoping that it's not just something that is a little bit of a gimmick. Let's find out. First look, and I must admit, I'm a little bit surprised by the quality of it in a good way. This thing does look really, really good. So if we take all the shrink wrap off, you will see that it is a lovely black finish. It is CNC milled. In fact, it's 100% CNC milled and it's also 370 grams. Really nice little touch there, knowing the exact weight of this club. Love that black shaft. A huge fan of the blue grip. That's almost like kind of Man City blue, isn't it? But it's obviously good, good color as well. So we'll let them off. Now um, on top, let's talk. You see, I'm lucky, I get to review a lot of putters, and on top, this has something which a lot of the big boys don't have at the moment, a fantastic alignment aid with those three lines on top. I actually really like that. It might be seen as a little bit busy, but then if you think of good goods, you think of what they're all about, they're trying to get new people into golf, I imagine, get people to enjoy the golf, to fight for par, little slogan there. This has to be pretty forgiving. It can't just be a putter with zero forgiveness. This is for a birdie. First ever one. Oh, it's just a bit too much. Must have got a cracking roll there. Sounded, didn't sound like I anticipated it would actually. Sounded a bit more high pitch. That's obviously gonna be subjective. Some people will like that, some people won't. First impressions, quite impressed. I must say. Now, the elephant in the room is obviously the Callaway deal, isn't it? I think it's really good that Callaway are still allowing Good Good to produce the putters. I also think it's fantastic that if Good Good are starting to make golf clubs, they started with the putter because let's face it, 
There's only so much technology you can really put into a putter, isn't there? So I think that's a fantastic effort. I imagine the next step would have been wedges, then maybe irons, then progress on to full sets from there. But I don't know how that Callaway deal will obviously see that go. Callaway could quite easily have told the guys to stop making them though, because it might well be affecting the Toulon range, the Odyssey range and other putter sales. But they haven't done. And I think that's a wise move because I think a lot of people are loving them. And thinking about it, that could make this putter even more rare if Callaway do decide to do that. So you definitely want to subscribe, comment and like this video. So for me, the big things here when you do think about the fundamentals of a putter and what you do want to buy, have they got it right? Have they nailed these fundamentals? I must say, apart from it, for me, it's, it's a tiny bit open so I'm just struggling to release it a touch but apart from that it feels fantastic I feel like I can swing it really really well and it seems to be doing the majority of things I want it to do so for me apart from having it in the bag for a season seeing how it weathers seeing how the paint chips or anything like that I really think that even for $375 there's really not a lot you can critique about this club and you know what I must say, I take my hat off, I would do it, my hair is terrible at the moment, to all the guys at Good Good, to all the guys involved, because what they're doing, not only with the clubs, not only with the clothing, not only with the channel and the entertainment value, is phenomenal. It really, really is fantastic. It's bringing so many more younger people into the game, which everyone strives to do. Me as a PJ professional would love to bring more people to the game. I'm trying my best to do that. You look at some of the live events that they hold, it's like Beatlemania, it is crazy. Even if someone does get an errant tee shot. Garrett, if you want a lesson, let me know. Although I think it's fair to say if I was playing with thousands of people around me, then uh, more than one person would get hit. So you're actually not got a bad ratio. Come on, we need to make a birdie with the good, good putter. Be close, be close. Tap in. Oh, I tell you what, we've got a chance. We have a chance. And you see so far the entire experience of buying the putter, of receiving the putter, of unboxing, it's all been positive, it's all been nice. They could quite easily have kind of made something a little bit shitty, a little bit rubbish. They could have charged $300 for it and made an absolute fortune. We can tell that even the money that's gone into the packaging, that's gone into FedEx making sure these clubs get here really, really quickly. These came from America, it took less than a week, which is phenomenal. And also, so far I have to say build quality wise, Quite impressed, even the head cover, which a lot of people, a lot of younger golfers, <coughs> oh, that really hurt. A lot of younger golfers are a lot more bothered about head covers, about colours, about quality of leather. Again, I think they've nailed it. And we are left with this for the opening birdie with the good, good mallet putter. Oh yeah. And now if you've tuned into this video wanting to see tech, then I must say, there isn't really a lot to go at. As mentioned before, I really, really like the CNC milling on the face of this. It looks fantastic from first impressions. It feels good as well. I do really like the shape of this mallet. I like that it's got a lot of MOI. I like it's going to be very, very forgiving. I do also like the alignment aid as well. Again, a lot of people might think it's busy. I'm starting to get more and more used to it. I would probably colour in the middle line a different colour, maybe a red, maybe a blue and then use that colour on my ball because that is the line that you're going to line up with the ball. The other two are kind of on the wings of the putter just to cover the size of the ball. Grip wise, it's a good quality grip. The colour what colour I'm not a massive fan of, but it's a good quality grip. And I love the black shaft as well. That's just cool. Now, what a, oh, I call it so early then as well. That dove at the last second. Comes off nice though, I'm always getting nice distance control with that, which is important. And I must say, I really like the dot lined with the middle line as well. That's something which it makes you get the lie angle right, which as a PJ Pro who teaches people, that lie angle is something which is massive for all golfers to hold more putts and uh, fight for par. So what do we think's next? Because although putters are fantastic, I don't think it's the end game, is it? What have Callaway? got in store oh yeah now i don't know anything but i have seen rumor of a good good ball which i think would sell fantastically well i think callaway 
would probably help massively with that. I've seen some stamped up wedges. I'd love to see a range of golf clubs. I think get these into Costco or somewhere like that, you could see golf absolutely boom off the back of a handful of young lads having fun. Imagine that. Golf being fun and not a leather elbow pad in sight. Wow. So I spoke earlier on about criticism, about being constructive, about giving an honest opinion as to what maybe they could change with this product. I have to admit, there's really not a lot that you would want to change. I think personally, for that price, oh, I've got another glove. You know, gloves are like buses, aren't they? Never have one and then you get two. I would personally like to see more colour schemes. I'd like to see more neck options as well if you are spending this amount of money and potentially more grip options as well, more grip thickness options, maybe a super stroke on there, something that can just take the hands out of it a little bit. We've gone for the mega forgiving head here with the mallet. I'd love to see that matched up with a bit of a thicker grip as well. Maybe that is an option, I just didn't see it. I'll have a look on the internet and make sure. Right, it's another green, we've got a chance. Come on, birdie. So this is what we are left with in search of a birdie using the Good Good Mallet Putter. Guys, I'm also gonna do a video comparing the Good Good Mallet Putter to one of its kind of competitors, the Odyssey Tool on Las Vegas. As you can see, two very similar putters, two very similar milled faces, and um, well, these guys kind of sponsored these guys, so it could be quite an interesting video. Could we also start to see maybe Stroke Lab make an appearance in the Good Good Putters? We'll obviously just take them on. You know, having looked down at the Odyssey, the build quality doesn't look quite as good, but then I suppose it's not gonna do, is it? Because these guys have been at it for a very, very long time. I'd love to know where the Good Good Putter is made, actually, but I think for a first go, I think they've had a fantastic effort at it. I'm gonna have a couple of goes at this, have a bit of fun with it. Oh, James, again, distance control is perfect, and that's something which, when I'm testing putters, I'm always conscious of. What's distance control like? How does it feel off the face? It certainly feels soft off the face. There's another one just behind the hole, and for me, I think it's a good effort. If you hit it, it's in. Oh, James. And so guys, to finish off this video, as I said, I was gonna leave the guys a review. To be honest, I think it's good. I've given it four stars. It could quite well have been great. I would like to see more options though. Big fan of the idea and hard to knock the quality of it. I hope the lads do keep smashing it because that's exactly what they are doing. And for me, how would I rate the overall experience? It has to be five stars. Guys, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. See you all at the same time tomorrow. Remember, comment below, subscribe, like, and ask a friend to as well if you want to win this putter.